Hello, I'm um, Medic Larry, and I'm going to show you how to tend to a laceration. Number one, pre soak the arm in a moist towel. As you see here, towel, put down the water, put down the water, get a little moist. Yeah. Tell the patient to put the arm down on the table. It's very difficult to tend to an arm when he's holding it there for 10 minutes. Just soak it for about 15 minutes or so, and then we continue on. And you want to give him a cup of yogurt to maintain his hydration. Okay. Now that you've got that all done, he's eaten his yogurt, you've been pre-soaking for about 15 minutes. Now you can get rid of this, so put this right here. Your safety is always number one. Now uh, you want to take this tongue depressor and depress his tongue and what you're doing here uh, blah, 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 and what you're doing is checking to make sure your patient doesn't have AIDS or STDs or anything like that. Because the last thing you want is to get fucking chlamydia or something from this guy. Okay, so we'll put this uh, away somewhere. Yeah. If your patient's bleeding everywhere, just keep in mind, if he's, you know, going to get blood everywhere or the fuck everywhere, you tell that motherfucker to clean up his own goddamn mess. This is not our job. Our job is to patch him up, that's it. Okay. You want to take the pen light and you're going to shine it right in his fucking eyes. You're going to shine it right in his eyes. Make sure that his eyes are pearl. It means uh, pupils are equal and responsive to light. Check check the uh, infection for dirt or infection or uh, some shit like that. Now, if you see a little bit of dirt, that's all right. You want to leave it there. It's good for the healing process. Next, you want to elevate the arm and check the patient's reflexes by tickling his armpit. Now, if the patient squiggles around, it's good. It means it's time to start patching up the old patient. If he doesn't squiggle around, he's most likely going to die in the next few minutes. Now, the next step. All of your medical supplies to do this are as follows. You need roller glass. You need Skin closures, aka steri strips, very useful. Um, you need two four by four bars and um, some duct tape. All right. Now the reason that I use duct tape is it holds a lot better than medical tape. Trust me. I'm a doctor. I know. We're gonna pretend that this is the arm. This is the laceration. The first thing you wanna do is take a tongue depressor, like so. Take one, not two. And you're going to put it off to the side. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take a steri peel and take it off. If you spit on it and anything like that, or, you know, put it in, like, something gross, don't worry about it. It's it's fine. We have immune systems for a reason, right? Okay. Um, you're going to take that steri peel, you're going to slap it right on there like that. All right? You want to give it a nice slap, otherwise it's not going to hold. What that's going to do is close it up nice. Okay? And, those, and it's going to help stop the bleeding. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is you want to take your tongue depressor and you, and you kind of put that right on there. What that's going to do is it's going to keep it from opening up even more. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is take your gauze pads and uh, open them up. Okay, there's your one compressor. You're going you're gonna to put it right there. You take your second one. Okay, you get that thing out like that. And, uh, you're gonna put that, uh, oh, don't move. And you're gonna put that right there like that. Okay. Then take this, uh, roller glass. Alright, put that back there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. And you're gonna start rolling around in it. I mean, rolling it around the arm and stuff. Alright. Now uh, you're just gonna go all the way up the arm. Like that. All over the place. That's perfect. Now, the next thing you want to do is obviously secure it in place. To do that, you take the duct tape. Okay. And you slap that right across like this. And that baby is not going anywhere. Finally, we're going to check to make sure this isn't too tight, because the last thing that you want is the patient losing his arm because he's got no circulation. Now to do that, you just check his carotid pulse, and if it's present, that's a good thing. That means it's not too tight. If it's not there and you don't feel any bumpity bump bump bump, he's probably going to die again in the next few minutes. 
Now this is pretty secure. This is as professional as this gets. I'm seriously, you will not find a nicer job. Okay, the last thing that you finally want to do is uh, use the magnifying glass head thing. And you pop that on your head, and uh, you just make sure that it's not coming off anywhere, and it's checking it over, and it looks like it's fine. And there you go. Congratulations. Now you know how to tend to laceration. Brought to you by the Central Information Station Awareness of Medical Treatment and Human and Animal Principles and Rights in Edmonton Area Association.